Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about importing and exporting content. So, so there is a massive amount of content out there. Okay, so if you are interested in reinventing the wheel, <laughs> then, then you should go for it. Um, you know, between your textbook adoptions, um, which I'm sure has PDF versions of it, uh, which you can post on Google Docs um, or, or Google, and then you know, especially if it's if it's password protected, it's I'm sure you're allowed to do that, or you can link to it directly. Um, between that and then also in Canvas, if you click on this Commons button, uh, you can import. Um, oh, it's not letting me do it from here. So, so once you you can click on the Commons button. Uh, and you can go into the commons and basically basically this is content that you can you can uh you can import right so let's say you have a fractions right you're teaching fractions so this is you know an entire course in fractions right so fractions quiz fractions unit um uh so you can import from here so let's say you want to import this fractions course right Okay, this kind of tells you <clears throat> kind of tells you what what is here, right? You can even preview uh, the the stuff that would come in, um, and then if you want to import it, so let's say we want to import this uh, module. Uh, okay, so say this person has you know that's quite a lot of fractions content here for import. Okay, so if we want to import this now, realize though that with importing comes a lot of problems. Okay, so if you import this, for example, all of this is coming in. Okay, so it can be a, create kind of a mess. All right, so the strategy that most people use, okay, is that is that basically you create a sandbox course. Okay, in a sandbox. Uh, let me just show you one that I use. Okay, a sandbox is kind of a working course, right? So let's say a sandbox here, uh, and basically it's a mess, right? So it's it's where you kind of dump a lot of content in uh, into like a, a course that you don't actually show to students, and then you can kind of move that stuff around, right? Um, so this is an example where just, there's just a lot of assignments and one one thing that isn't actually shown to students. So, so, um, so let's go ahead and do that. So what we are going to do is that basically we're gonna I'm gonna show you a process where you can import import uh, content, you know, make a sandbox course, import content to it, and then move it over to your uh, to your course. Okay. All right. I mean, you can do it directly. It just—it's the potential for making a mess in your actual course you're showing for students is pretty high. Uh, so this is the safest way to do it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click courses, and then all courses. We're going to create a course called Sandbox. Okay. I don't know why it's called Sandbox. Everybody calls it a Sandbox course. I'm not sure why that is. Okay. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to just go ahead. Um, uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you could go to Commons and import it. Uh, I haven't answered the email yet. To, or actually, let's just do that. Just a second here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to Commons just to show you how to do it. So, so basically, let's go to Commons and let's say that I want to. Um, there's one right here. So let's say I want to do go into this. So notice that this is a giant course file. <laughs> so they've stored everything inside this course. So let's not do this one. Let's do. Um, let's say that I want. Oh, let's see, I'm a little bit. You can tell I'm a little bit nervous about. Um, Okay, here we go. This is 251 kilobytes, so I'm not too nervous about that. <laughs> so there's only two lessons, so that'll be fine. Okay, so import download, because we're gonna click import, and then you, we're going to go ahead, so we're inside commons, we're just gonna choose which one we want. Okay, I'm gonna choose sandbox to bring it in. Okay, and then basically if I go back um, to my course,
Okay, once it's imported. Okay, I'll see it right down at the bottom here. So I'm on my, so I went back into the course uh, that I down imported into, and here is the here are here is the content that I downloaded, right? Or not downloaded that I imported. Okay, so there's the assignment that I was just looking at it um, on the common. So that's that easy to import stuff. Okay. All right. Um, so let's take a let's take a look at how we can move stuff from one course to another. Okay. So so basically, um, that was an example of importing stuff into the Commons. That's that's stuff that people have donated basically. So let's say that I wanted to. I can add stuff to Commons also. If I go I go you know if I can click on any module and I just click Share to Commons, or I click on any lesson and click Share to Commons, I can do that. Um, and basically, it's just a. If I click it. Let's just show you how to do that. Okay, and basically I can just, you know, add this in here uh, and then it will be listed, you know, for other other teachers to use. Um, okay, so, but let's take a look. Let's say that I have been working with another teacher or, you know, I basically want to move my, my work that I have in a course on my, you know, free for teachers canvas into the district canvas, something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to export our con, export our course, and then import it into a different course. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go where we export is we go to settings, and we're going to go to export course content, and we're going to choose course and create export. Notice that we can't choose what we're exporting. Okay, and then we're going to go and um, go ahead and click this new export and it is going to download a file. Okay, so notice that the file it downloaded is this IMSCC. Okay, so that is the file format for Canvas um, course exports. Okay, the great thing about Canvas course exports is that they can be converted into Moodle, Blackboard, all of this, all of these other LMSs have common export formats, right, that they can, these things can be converted into. Um, so if you need to do that, you can. Um, that, that's not something we're going to go into. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click save. So I saved my export, right? So I made the export. I clicked new export, right? And I downloaded it. Okay, now let's go to the course I'm working in. So now I'm back. Um, remember that we made our sandbox course, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import content. So I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to import course content. Okay, content type, a Canvas course export package. Okay, so that's what we just downloaded, right? It, it'll import a lot of different stuff. Okay, so you can move from Moodle over, Blackboard, you know, all of these things, okay? So um, Canvas, Canvas course export package. Okay, then we're going to choose the file. And I just downloaded it right there. Okay, so template course export and open. Okay, now here is where here is where you really need to, to to be choosy. All right, so so basically this content all content I would say never do that. Basically, okay, so so definitely click select specific content unless you're really just moving an entire course over at one time. You should be really sure. Okay, I can't stress that enough that importing too much content into a course is very problematic. You will spend hours deleting that content out of your course. Um, and it can it can pollute the your modules page. It can be really 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 difficult. You know you can import you know a gigabyte of files into your course, which will cause you problems. So please select specific content. Okay, click import. Okay, so now so it's running. So that means basically it's uploading, right? Okay. Then what we have to do is we have to go in and select content. Now in this case. Um, notice that we have modules, okay? So we can we can click that, and then we can actually select individual assignments if we wanted to, okay? Uh, if you know that the modules themselves, like you know, a, a problem with selecting individual assignments is the files might not come over, right? So in my opinion, you should basically just work with modules. So so you should import modules, export whole modules, just work in in units, not in lessons, basically. Okay, so in this case, we're just going to bring over Academic Professional Portfolio Module, uh, and then I'm going to click Select Content. Okay, 
There was one issue. Well, that's good, missing link found. This is a really good one to check. Um, you know, you might have a lot of these to be honest with you, but this is a case where I had a, a link was not correct. Okay, so I'll have to go back in and check that. Um, okay, so let's go back. So now we're, you know, we're in our sandbox, right? So now we have our modules. Okay, so remember our sandbox course that we're in, this is where I would just collect stuff, right? I might go in uh, into commons. I might, you know, import a bunch of stuff into the sandbox, into the sandbox course. I might look over it, kind of, you know, uh, you know, make sure I want to use it in my classroom. And then what I would do is, so now this is the second step. So we got stuff into the sandbox, and now we're going to go over to our real course, right? So now we're going to go over to our coding 101. I've decided I want to use that, um, want to use that module, um, and I'm going to go into settings again, and then I'm going to go into import. Okay, so import course content. And this time, instead of choosing, instead of choosing an up export package, I'm going to ch choose copy a Canvas course. Okay, so when I say copy a Canvas course, that means one of the courses I have access to, I'm going to copy the entire course or a portion of the course, right? So I'm going to select the course. In this case, I'm going to select Coding 101. Okay, um, and then instead, remember, once again, make sure that you select select specific content, not all content. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Import. I'm going to go ahead and select the content. Okay, and there's only one module, but I'm going to go ahead and select it, right? Oops. And guess what I did? See, I'm glad, <laughs> interestingly enough, I'm glad I did that. I would have had a copy. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Okay, and I'm going to do a different, I'm just going to let this sit here. So I'm never going to import anything. So copy Canvas course. And remember, it wasn't Coding 101. Sorry about that. It's sandbox. And select specific content and then import. And then I'm going to make sure I got the right one. Select content. Go to modules. And I'm in academic professional portfolio and select content. Okay, it's queued, it's waiting to be imported, now it's running. You can actually go away, you don't have to stay on the page, it will just run. Okay, and I had one issue, it's the same link that we had before probably. Okay, and then if I go now, if I go back to my modules page and my course that I'm working on, okay, now that's here available for students. And notice it's been added to the bottom of the, um, the, bottom of the modules page. If I drag that up, um, notice that now it's, now it's the first assignment. So I always have this unit. I, you know, it's very useful for me. I already have this. I always have this unit. Um, and actually, you know what? I'll just share it to Commons just to, um, just so you can go find it. Okay, this is how I start every course. I basically have the students. Um, Oh, look at that. I need it. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll share this out after the video is done. So you'll be able to find Google Sites Academic uh, Professional or Professional Portfolio. So let's just do Sites Portfolio. That would be better. Okay. Um, okay. And then I'll, I'll share that out. And then, you know, we do a grade range. It's probably grades three to anyone. Okay. All right, so where were we? We were, okay, so basically we have this module. If you notice that, so we imported this academic professional portfolio, notice that we can drag it to, uh, to uh, move it around. If you're on an old browser, you can click uh, the menu button here and then click move module and you can actually choose, uh, you know, um, where to put it, okay? Um, Okay, so that's the module. Now let's take a look just really quick uh, at assignments to, to understand how these things are moved around and why organization is necessary, okay? 
So notice that when I when I imported these things, that they basically just got dumped into a group of assignments called imported assignments. Okay, so let's say that I was importing a lot of stuff, I would have a mishmash of you know, it could be hundreds of assignments inside, you know, imported assignments. And this is why this 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 bin called imported assignments is why we don't use the assignments page. Okay, so so basically what you're getting is as you import stuff, you know, import content or get it from this commons area that uh, that basically, um, you know, this assignments page can get very unwieldy very quickly. So I I I would encourage you as you import, import one module at a time. Okay, that's why I say work in modules. Um, Okay, and I would say as you import, just immediately, you know, once you import something else, it will just make a new uh, group of assignments called imported assignments again. So basically, if you import per module and you can come in and just keep organizing your assignments page, that would be great. Otherwise, just ignore the assignments page. Just let you get all the let the all the assignments get dumped in there. But eventually, you'll need to go find an assignment for some reason. And at that point, it will your life will become difficult for a few minutes. <laughs> so, okay, so um, okay, so there we have it. So that is that is how we uh, import and export modules or import and export assignments uh, or content. It can be quizzes as well uh, into and out of uh, Canvas, um, and it's very 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 useful. So uh, best of luck.